student to Desert Oasis High School every day is I trust her principal and her teachers and the staff to do their jobs to keep her safe. Parents, students, and educators speaking out, sharing stories of violence in Clark County schools, but what will the district do about it? Fox News' Kim Passa joining us in studio tonight to explain what happened during tonight's CCSD Board of Trustees meeting. Yeah, so there was one action item when it came to addressing violence in schools, and trustees voted to implement a program called Dads in Schools, basically allowing dads to volunteer and serve as hall monitors, hoping their presence will prevent the type of violence that is happening now. Our children are screaming out for help and we don't we don't know how to help them anymore. To the CCSD Board of Trustees and Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara, it was cries for help from teachers. I had such a breakdown that I contemplated suicide at some point this year. The stress that you all put on teachers is alarming and we are leaving in droves because you do not care about us. Parents also pleaded with district leaders to do something now, including one mom of three juniors at Desert Oasis High School, which recently has seen fights, lockdowns, even a gun on campus. My children are genuinely frightened about what awaits them each day. Lately, it has been a war zone and the adults in charge do not know how to handle it. Teachers are not even given a clear answer as to what to do if a fight breaks out in my class. Jalissa Oberlay, a student at Desert Oasis, shared what the recent hard lockdown at the school was like. Why should I have to text my parents I love them from underneath the desk? Why should we have to comfort each other in the darkness of closets, the floors of classrooms, the corners of lunchrooms? I don't want to spend every day living in fear in a place that was meant to feel safe. How can we continue on pretending our school is safe? Parents and educators contend students who perpetrate the violence aren't really facing consequences. They'll get pulled out, they'll return a few minutes later, um, they'll see no consequences, and then that sets the tone that, okay, this must be normal. The violence that we're seeing in our neighborhoods is now going into the schools. Troy Martinez, local founder of Dads in Schools, has met with Dads on Duty, a similar group in Louisiana and says having a male presence in schools is proven to prevent violence. And we choose to boost the morale of the staff and the students. So that agreement with Dads in Schools runs through June of 2023, and as part of the agreement, the Dads in School program must conduct a community awareness campaign to generate volunteer interest. Volunteers will need to clear the CCSD background check process, so it will be some time before they can actually go into the schools.